So, Garrett's group is wiped out and Darrow returns with person unknown. Stay back. We'll get right back into it. What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here and we are bringing you some more Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay for the while that we have it before Advanced Warfare comes up. But either ways, I hope you all enjoy this gameplay, of course with pictures because this is the uh, series where we go over the Walking Dead uh, previous episode that happened the night before, which in this case it is episode 3, Four Walls and a Roof. And I hope you all enjoy this, especially, uh, oh yeah, like I mentioned before with pictures, I forgot to, uh, that I mentioned that, but... We're going to get right into this, so last episode, uh, we kind of left off where the uh, Garrett's group kind of took Bob in, and, you know, they uh, they cut off his leg, as we all saw in that picture, just astounding. We knew uh, that Gareth was, uh, in fact, a cannibal, and the whole Terminus was, in fact, cannibals there that, you know, they had to survive to do what they had to do. And I also mentioned that it was pretty uh, disgusting about how that all that played out, um, you know, about how he has he thinks that he has to eat people to survive and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, we don't know Garrett's background, but, you know, like I said in the uh, previous video, it's disgusting of, you know, how he thinks that he has to survive instead of trying to find actual food. But either way so it starts off and Bob starts crying at first because obviously he lost his leg you know there's not, it's not like he's just gonna be like oh okay well I lost my leg there no he starts crying and then he starts laughing and you know they're wondering why he's laughing because at first I was like wait a second is he crying or is he just like like laughing or something like that and um Basically, I've heard this like through some friends or mostly on the internet that uh, this might have been you know this might have happened because of the way that Bob was acting and I also mentioned this in the last episode that you know Bob was acting kind of funny towards the end of the episode after all that like uh, the incident went down at the uh, the uh, sewer or whatever that they were trying to get the food from from the food bank and uh, how Bob acted towards later in that episode and uh, we find out that Bob is bitten but you know he starts laughing and the group is in Gareth's group is wondering you know what's going on why is he laughing like this and uh, he says he uh, opens up his shoulder, his uh, shirt, and shows them the shoulder that he they ate they ate tainted meat, and uh, they were wondering what was going to happen to him. And I and you know at this point we're like yes that's probably that's what I really want to happen. And uh, Garrus was like no one nothing's going to happen like that. So anyways, moving on to the next part. I mean I'm not going to talk a whole lot about that. So that's basically what happened. And then they brought Bob back to the church, um, you know where Rick's group was. And, uh, so they basically went back there, they put Bob in front, and there was like a, you know, a little, not like a lot of walkers out in the front of the church, but, you know, there was a decent amount, and they took them out while they tried to get Bob inside, but then Rick saw that somebody else tried to shoot at them, so, uh, they, he knew that there was a threat, and then when Bob actually woke up, Bob said, you know, who the threat was, and it was obviously Gareth, and, uh, you know, that's when Rick starts trying to plan to go after this group. And uh, that's, you know, that's basically what happens. But also another interesting story of what happens uh, within that. We obviously know the story about how Abraham wants, uh, you know, Rick and everyone to go to, wa to uh, Washington to get uh, Eugene there because, you know, Eugene has the cure. Potentially he has the cure to, uh, you know, fighting this off and, uh, you know, make the dead actually dead and make the living, you know, survive. So... He's trying to rush Eugene to Washington, but Rick is trying to hold him back, saying to, like, wait, because, you know, obviously, as we mentioned, Daryl went out with Carol and found out, um, you know, or we don't know what they found out yet, but they basically went out with uh, Daryl and Carol, you know, went out, and Rick didn't know when they were actually going to return or, you know, if anyone actually did kidnap them or something like that, so they had another potential problem on their hands, and Abraham was kind of rising Rick to the challenge, like, we have to go now. He's, like, yelling at him, and then Glenn made some terms to make sure like he, he has 12 hours to stay there and then by then Glenn and Maggie and uh, Tara will go with Abraham and and uh, so that's basically what the terms were and you know Abraham and there for Abraham and Rick there I thought that they weren't going to get along really well uh, towards later on in the episode but it actually ended up being fine I think uh, I think Abraham is a, uh, a very good character and I don't think that he would turn into anything like the governor would or anything like that so 
I think we're fine, you know, safe with Abraham. He's obviously got some uh, experience in that, you know, the gun and military uh, field there. So he really comes in handy, and he just gets a little aggressive at times when he wants things to go his way. So that's how he sees it, but basically the next part that happens is after that you know bob is obviously going to die because he shows everyone that he's been bitten so he's obviously going to die so they put him on a couch that uh gabriel obviously the pastor gives or lets them use and uh so that's what they're that's what a couple people are doing especially sasha and tyrese they're you know kind of like looking at that but uh, other people in the group are trying to, you know, figure out where Garrett's group is going to be, you know, because uh, he, uh, Rick asked Gabriel at the start or, you know, before uh, this happened, like, did he have anything to do with it? And uh, also, like, where or where is basically the schoolyard that they were keeping Garrett's group at? And, you know, Garrett's or not Garrett, I mean, uh, Gabriel, you know, says it's about a 10 minute walk. So they basically go into the woods, you know, armed with lots of their weapons and, uh, and basically Gareth comes in because he's been hiding in the woods. So, you know, it was a sneaky move, you know, uh, Gareth thought that Rick was gone. And so they went back in and we thought, you know, like here, like we knew that something was going to happen. And then all of a sudden when, you know, they're interrogating Carl and they're interrogating Abraham when they're hiding in this church, uh, you know, they're getting their guns basically loaded. They're looking right at the door. And then all of a sudden, you just see two guys from Gareth's group go down. Rick comes in. He basically saves the day. And uh, he says to put the guns on the floor. He shoots. I think he shoots off Gareth's hand. I believe I saw that right. But um, he shoots. You know, he hits Gareth definitely because he got hurt. And I believe it was his hand because he was like holding. I think he was holding his hand. So, you know, you knew that Gareth like knew that that stuff was going to happen. So they basically put their guns on the floor. Rick took them. Or not took the guns. He, uh, Rick, you know, to, like asked them like what, like oh, well, about this. And uh, basically, he said, "Well, he made a promise." And uh, that this moment in the Walking in the uh, whole Walking Dead series, and especially with season five, is probably one of the greatest moments. Uh, Rick makes a promise to kill Gareth with the red machete, and uh, that's exactly what he does. He basically annihilates their whole group. So Gareth's group is completely, completely wiped out by uh, Rick and his group. So now, so far, they don't have any threats. Uh, pretty amazing, because even in the last episode, we said that, you know, Gareth... Uh, I, at first, actually, in the first episode, I didn't know if Gareth was going to be a threat. And then when I saw him, I was like, oh, well, you know, now he's going to probably be the main focal point for the whole series. And within the next episode, he is just dead and he's gone. So, you know, um, I hear that, you know, there's, like, enemies within there. And I also hear there's some flashbacks to different places, which we're going to get into more at the end of the video, but, so yes, yeah, so I don't know what other enemy there could be, if there is going to be potentially another one, but Gareth's group is eliminated, and that was that. So anyways, then uh, in the morning, Abraham takes off, and, uh, you know, Rick doesn't go with them, there's some, Maggie and Glenn obviously go with them, like I mentioned before, and... So basically, uh, Rick, or I mean, uh, Abraham gives Rick a map of which route to take to head the, you know, they're going to try and stay to the route as a route, however you say it. I mean, I know how to say it, but, you know, some people say it differently. As long as they can, they want to stick to that. And so basically, Abraham wrote this note to Rick saying that, you know, this basically made up for why he was yelling at Rick all night. And uh, you could tell because, you know, Abraham was kind of being a jerk and he admitted it. And uh, things are cool now between Abraham and Rick, which which is another cool thing, you know, lots of cool things solved within this episode. So, uh, we also see that Michonne is reunited with her uh, sword, her katana sword. Uh, very, you know, cool moment because that's, you know, it's in one of the weapons that Garrett's group is carrying. So, she, you know, has her sword back. This is like her, you know, moment. She's been trained or she trained herself to use it. And it is a very, you know, good uh, sword and stuff like that. But basically, getting towards the end... Uh, here is where the things get interesting uh, yet again right at the end of the episode so everything seems cool everything seems fine and fun and dandy all that good stuff and then we see daryl come back to the woods we're like yes and then uh and then you know like where's carol you know like what like daryl's there but what you know we don't see carol in this shot and then all you just he uh, hear is daryl say come on out and that's the end it just cuts to the end and then obviously we see the next week's preview which i'm going to get into in just a second 
second, but that's all we see. So... Who could that be? There's been lots and lots and lots of speculations. Obviously, Morgan is completely out. Don't even think Morgan because Daryl doesn't even know Morgan. Even though we saw him in the beginning of Season 5, you know, uh, Daryl does not even know who Morgan is. Or maybe he does, but he, you know, being because Rick told him. But, he, you know, we don't know exactly, uh, you know, all his life. So, I don't, it's not 100% confirmed, probably not Morgan. Next uh, it could obviously it could very well be Carol, which I mean it probably is, but either something happened to Carol, like she got bit or something like that, or it's someone else other than Carol. Maybe they took Carol in where Beth is, and that's another thing that we have to get into, or maybe they like I honestly have no idea what it could be. But my one of my guesses that I've been hearing lots of, and one of my you know theories that you know it makes sense is that uh, if you remember back into season one, and this is where the flashbacks come in that I mentioned before, all thrown in, the uh, Morales family uh, was actually in season one, and they left the group in season one, and I th yeah it was right before they were heading off to the CDC, so it was a really really long time ago that we got to see them, and it would be cool if Daryl brought back one of the members from you know that sort of family because it'd be kind of like a flashback thing, and we're getting into another flashback here in a second. But the Morales, the yeah I said that, I said that completely wrong. The Morales family. Uh, very interesting and could come back, but who knows? It could be any. It could actually very well be Carol. It could be both. Who who really knows? Leave a comment below what you think it is. But I'm just taking a guess and uh, betting that it will be uh, one of those because they, uh, you know, people had high speculations for that. That will actually be that uh, one of the members from that family. Or I, I doubt that all the uh, family members survive. To be honest, but. We will have to wait and see for that, obviously. So the next thing that we get to see within this is the uh, preview for next week's episode of The Walking Dead, in which people, uh, I mean, I don't really know if they've been expecting this to happen, but now is the episode with Beth. And if we look out of the window that she's in, in the, in the preview that we saw, you can see it's kind of like... Uh, old, uh, I mean, it looks like a city that's been overrun, sort of, and it, she's in a hospital, so, you know, people were relating that back to the season one hospital that Rick was in, because that could be a flashback place that they could be doing tests on after, you know, Rick left, obviously, then maybe they established a joint, uh, yeah, joint, maybe they established a uh, kind of place there, and that's where they're keeping Beth, and if that is the case, it'd be cool if they could, you know, show scenes of the hallway that Rick was actually in and uh, you know because obviously Daryl uh, knows where Beth is because we you know in the preview you know you hear Daryl talking he knows where Beth is he'd seen her he's has saw her sorry and talked with her so if Rick ends up going back and you know to that place where Beth is then if that is the hospital that he was in, he's going to have so many memories from the years that passed since he was there, and it's just going to be like a cool flashback moment. I mean, again, we don't know where this hospital or any place like that is, but it's just a uh, speculation from things back to season one, but that was the preview, and th that's basically the review, the thoughts uh, of what I've had for this episode. If you did enjoy it, leave a like and also subscribe for more content. So basically in a rundown, let's go over it again. Garrett's group got eliminated and, uh, you know, Abraham, some rough and tough decisions between Abraham and Rick, but it ends up getting sorted out in the end. Abraham admits that he was being a jerk. And uh, yeah, so then they're all friends, good and friends now. And then Daryl comes back through the woods, and then we have to find out what happens next week. So I'll see you on next week's episode of The Walking Dead Reviews. And I'm Ninja Geek, and like I mentioned in a couple of videos uh, before this, uh, I will be doing a couple, like, I think it's two surprise videos that I have on the way. So stay tuned and subscribe for that, also with Advanced Warfare coming out. I'm Ninja Geek. I'll see you on my next video. I'm out. Peace.